What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified anytime you boy drop some heat. In today's video, man, we finna draw that man Ami in a Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out now. Pretty dope dude. I will have a link in the description below. And without further ado, Let's jump right into this video okay just like always man i like the the art board size i like to use 18 by 18 inches you know what i'm saying so we're gonna go ahead and click that give some time for it to load up and after we do that we just drag and drop the picture we want to use i'm gonna hold shift Scale it down a little bit. I was gonna add his chain in it, but nah, we just gonna do his face. You know what I'm saying? So let's just put it right here. Drop the opacity down, probably like the 50. Nah, let's see. Bring it up some 72%. Lock that layer, create us a new layer right above it. And now we're gonna come up here to the top, go to a new brush. And you wanna hit OK. And then I'm just setting my pressure option. So this is how I get that that pen y'all see me use. That look that brush you see me use in every video. This is all I do. I'm using a Wacom tablet. So you gotta have a digital art tablet to be able to get this option. So I go to my pressure. I change this number to three. And I change that number to three. And voila. I got the magical sauce brush. Where if I press hard. I mean, if I press light, it'll give me a thin line. If I press hard, it'll give me a thick line. So that helped me get some dope line work. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm finna do, I'm finna hold control and the plus sign to zoom in some. And we gonna start with these eyes first. So let's just, and I lost my art glove, man. So I gotta order me another glove. Put this back in, uh, okay. Double click that. Yeah, I gotta order me another art glove, man. So bring this over like this, a little smooth on my line. This don't even feel right drawing without my little glove. Bring this up like this. Oh shit. <laughs> my girl done found my glove. Oh, it's a wrap, nah. I got all the goddamn lint. It was in the washing machine. Tier. Boy, I'm so glad you found boy, you done say it a day. That's good, boy. Alright. Now, now I can draw and be comfortable at the same time. The reason why it's good to have one of these art gloves, man, because when you slide in your hand across the uh, the string, it won't got dang, it'll just go smooth. I be feeling like I'm gonna get a rash on my hand if I don't wear art gloves. So it make a difference, man. Step back. I always got them turn the eye off the original photo so I can take a look at how far I done came on the picture. Do the lips real quick, pause. Okay, okay, okay. It's coming together, man. It's coming together, man. Let's, let's close this off like this. Bring this over just like this. Make sure you close your lips off too. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we're gonna close everything off. I'm gonna go back and close the lips off just so. Like I told you, the closer you get to the end, you won't have no technical difficulties. So let's go back. Let's go back right here. Make a little close off just like that. You know what I'm saying? We close this off right here just like that. 
and we're gonna close that off like that. Let's go ahead and do the outline of his face, of his head. Make my brush a little bigger, a two point. And you see how I make the outline of his face real bold? It just, it just look better to me. That's why I make it real thick on the outline. We done closed off his head. So now, what we finna do, we finna come up here to our pencil tool, Move this color black to the top. Make sure the bottom color lock because we finna use this pencil tool as a fill tool. You know what I'm saying? The method never change. Same method, new pictures. Okay, let's uh, do his eyebrows. All I do is create a Have for it and let it fill in at the end. You feel me? Let's do the same thing on this one. Let's just create the path and it'll fill it in. You know what I'm saying? Okay, bring this up like this. Another thing too, man, y'all leave in the com comment section the next, who the next YouTuber y'all want me to draw, man. Just let me know in the comments below. And your boy gonna make it happen. It could be your favorite YouTuber, your favorite TikToker. Y'all just leave them in the comments below and we will start drawing from the request. You feel me? So we almost got the basic layout before we start adding some like finer details. You see this gum, this gum line right here? I'm gonna go ahead and make it black cause you can't, you can't really see it anyway. So we can buy some time just by making this black. Just like that. Then it'll give you the illusion that his teeth is just shining out that thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and add this little pudge of hair right under the lip. Just like this. That's pretty dope, dope, dope. We're gonna have to do the little finer hairs and that's gonna be the tedious part, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna make the picture dope. Let's go back to our paintbrush tool. Let's do the, the, the details in the ear real quick. And now all we gotta do is finish out his facial hair. So we just gonna come through and draw it line by line like this. So bring them closer together so it'll have a, a nice little realistic flow to it. Okay. Gotta make it all flow in that direction. I can bring this down just a little more. And 
And now, we gotta add all this hair on his cheeks. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be very tedious. But just like I said, the more time you put into your picture, the better it'll turn out. And if your artwork look good, you'll attract more customers. So, take your time, man. Make some good work, because I always remember your art represents you. You know what I'm saying? So if you start putting out some bad work, people gonna see you as a bad artist. But if you put out some good quality work, people will be like, oh yeah, I'm a, I know for a fact I'm gonna get good quality from this guy. So you know what I'm saying? I always got dang, I always do everything. And keep in mind that everything you do represent you. You know what I'm saying? So do everything good. Make sure you're doing your best. Bring this up like that. Okay. Now all we gotta do. A look, I'm gonna show y'all my little secret. I probably I show y'all show y'all a lot. So like I said, the technique never change. It's just the what we drawing changes. The technique never change. This is what I call making patches. Okay. I'm about to show you. You about to witness it. You see this little area right here? To buy us some time where we just don't have to go through all this, I create me an area like this. I copy it, hold alt, and I just drag and drop. Still holding alt. That'll buy you, buy you a lot of time. You did what I'm saying? Oh, we still got that selected. We can grab that patch. Let's flip it on this side, you know what I'm saying? Just buy us a little time. Okay, that filled in enough area for us to continue manually so let me go ahead and delete let me delete all the little hairs that didn't stay inside of the the art see what I'm saying you gotta work smarter not harder man see what we just did man we just bought some time now all we gotta do is go through there and clean that up a little bit by adding some random hairs. Okay, let's fill this part up like this. Fill this little part up so it'll be full. Fill this part up. You know what I'm saying? Fill this little cheekbone up. Okay, cool. Cool is good. We gonna make it a little thicker too. Make his beard a little thicker. First, let me come up here and add some little hairs so it'll look like it's fading. So to make it look like the hair you're drawing is fading, you draw the, the hairs further apart and the closer you get up to the full hair, that's when you bring the hairs together, you draw them close together. You see how I'm drawing the ones at the top closer together and the ones at the bottom, they kind of spread out so it'll get an illusion that is is fading. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm finna make my brush size just a tad bit bigger so to have some more detail where it look more real. You know what I'm saying? So. Now that we finished with the line work, my guys, we gonna jump right into the coloring process. 
after this commercial. Three hours later. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, on to the next step. What we finna do is, since we finished with the line work now, it's time to make all this one, all these lines. It's time to combine them all together. So what we gonna do, we gonna highlight everything. See how I got everything selected. Go to object. Then we're gonna go to expand appearance. And then you wanna click merge on your pathfinder. After you do that, all your lines should become one. So when you click it, you see how it, see how it's trying to select everything. All right, now make a copy of your line work. Lock the top copy. I'm gonna use my color palette. Let me go ahead and find it on my computer real quick. All right. She wore a color palette. You know what I'm saying? Link will be in the description below if you want to use my color palette. You know what I'm saying? It'll help you get started with skin tones. Okay, now start working on this skin tone. Okay, okay. What we're going to do is find a nice skin tone star. I think I was there. Yeah. Now we're going to start with that. Yeah, that'll be a good start. Okay. After we find the color, you want to right click the color, go to arrange, and send to back. You'll know if you did this step right, if you look over at your layers and you see your line where it's sitting on top of the color. After you do that, you want to select everything, and then you want to click Merge on your Pathfinder. Then after you do that, you want to right click it, go to Isolate Select Group, and now we can delete this out of color. Another thing I like to do is hit this drop down menu twice right here, and we're going to stroll all the way down, and we're going to, then I lock all my black lines just like this and keep the top two unlocked so now I can delete these colors that's trapped inside the hairs without deleting my line work by accident so that's why we lock our black lines you feel me? go ahead and change the color inside of his eyes and his teeth I'm holding shift so I can select more than one thing at a time. Change his lip colors. Like that. Like this. Now we got a basic. We got a basic skin tone down, you know what I'm saying? Create another copy of your color layer. Lock the bottom layer and turn the eye off on the bottom layer. Now we're going to go to this layer that's in the center, and we're going to delete the skin tone out of this layer. So let's go ahead and delete the skin tone. You see what I'm doing? Only the skin tone we're deleting. So while I'm on this layer, let me go ahead and change that to pink. OK, cool. All right. Now we're gonna bring this, turn this eye back on on the bottom color layer. Let's create a new layer in between those two, like that. And this is gonna be the layer we put the skin tone shadows on. You know what I'm saying? So, now what I'm doing is, I'm looking at my original photo, and we just gonna play off that. Let me go to my pencil tool, make sure my color is at the top. Make sure your settings inside of your pencil tool look exactly like this. Cause I use my pencil tool to do all my shading and basically a filling tool. I use it as a filling tool. So let's start shading this thing, man. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start from the lighter shadows to the dark. We're just gonna keep going down with the tones, getting darker with the tones, the deeper we go in the picture. So right now I'm just doing all the lighter tones. 
looking at my reference photo. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm running this up like this. I'm doing is copying exactly what I see the shadows at. You know what I'm saying? Just draw what you see, man. Don't try to overthink it. We just drawing all the tones exactly what we see them at. This the first shadow. We're gonna keep getting darker with the tones the deeper we go into the picture, you know what I'm saying? advancing from here so we're gonna create a new layer right above that layer because it's about to get darker you know what I'm saying so let's start start right here and that I, and that's all it is man you just gotta keep adding the different tones so I just stay looking at my reference picture and I just keep building Create me a new layer and put it right behind that one. So we can just go a little darker. I mean a little lighter from that dark tone. So let me see this right here. I just gotta make this transition better. This color need to be a I have a little more red in it to me. Just a little tad, not too much, that's straight. That's perfect, yeah. Sample this. Now let's 
this work. So just like I said, man, it's just all about making these colors. Make sure you're putting your tones in the right place. Make sure the colors transition well into the next. And that's what I made the color palette for to help you guys until you, you know what I'm saying, you learn how to find your own colors. You know what I'm saying? Now, put a layer right under the, we're gonna put a layer right under the line work. And this is where we do the shadows inside of the eyes and his mouth. So let me go to my pencil tool. And this is what I like to do. I like to do a little a top shadow inside the eyes, just like this. We're gonna create a layer at the, at the very top, above the line work. And we're gonna do some effects inside his eyes, like that, you know what I'm saying? Just to give it a little, a little dope little effect like that. Also, just a little brighter.
this like that. I'm gonna put a little shine right there. So it look like it's shining, you feel me? And we're gonna come to the gradient, the black and white gradient. We're gonna create one in the center. On both sides, we're gonna make it super dark. And we're gonna transition it to a, like a little color like this. You don't want it just to be transitioning straight to gray. You want it to have a little tint in it so it'll be smoother. Don't ask why. I just know it work better when you give it a little tint. Okay, there it go. We're gonna pull these closer. Like that. And make this a little more darker little more tint to it okay now that's it we have our brush our hair brush so that's what it's gonna give it this little hair effect like this you feel me And there you have it, man. Just made a cartoon head, you feel me? If you would like to purchase one for yourself, inbox me on Instagram at chiworld1234, and I will give you my price list inside of there. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll get you started. So maybe you'll see your head on this YouTube channel. Go ahead, hit that like button. Drop some comments in the comment section, man. Thank you guys for your love and support. Make sure you stay tuned because more heat coming soon and I'm out this thing.